Hello, welcome to our home. Hi. Today I want to give you a glimpse of how we celebrate Ramadan and Eid. These are very special holidays for us and I thought to raise awareness about them and how we share them in a Pakistani household. Hi, it's a pleasure to be talking to you guys about my culture today. Alicia, can you tell us what is Ramadan and why we celebrate Eid? Muslims all over the world celebrate Ramadan to understand the conditions of the less fortunate. During Ramadan, we fast for 30 days consecutively from sunrise to sunset. We can't eat food and we can't drink water, and this really helps us practice discipline. We also give back to the less fortunate and spend our days praying. So let's tell the viewers what is Chandra. It is a very special night and Ramadan and when Ramadan ends, we celebrate it with a night. It's before Eid and after Ramadan. It's the night when we sight the moon and us, that's why it's called Chandra. Chan means moon and Rat means night. So what do we do in Chandra, Alicia? Well, this is our last day of fasting, so it's a way to celebrate. Um, a lot of people get their henna done and they prepare their outfits for Eid. Yeah, and henna is a very special paste. Actually, it is made from a plant and we just uh, uh, paste, make a paste out of it and put it in a cone and put it on our hands or our feet and uh, we make a special design out of it. It's freehand. We leave it for 30 minutes to half, one hour and it leaves a very beautiful color. And we will show you the henna design we picked for this eve. We pick separate designs. Um, you can go with traditional designs or more modern designs. A lot of people know about Ramadan, but I have noticed very few people know about Eid al-Fitr. We um, end our Ramadan with a very big celebration and it is called Eid. In Eid, Alicia, do you want to tell us because you love Eid? I love Eid too, but I think it's better if she tell everyone. So Eid is my favorite holiday <laughs> because um, the kids get money and we call this ED and we also go to parties and we get our henna done on our hands. Um, we dress up in different outfits and we change from our morning outfits to our night outfits and we go to multiple parties a day. Let us tell um, viewers what, how we start our day in Eid. What, what do you do first thing when you wake up? So when we first wake up, we go to the mosque and we do morning prayer. And then after that, it makes us feel very rewarded for the rest of the day. And so we go to many events after that and we spend time with our family and friends. And we also in mosque, we have like little sweets that we can eat and we greet everyone with a special greeting and it's called Eid Mubarak. Um, so you like we can tell everyone how we do it. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. Eid Mubarak. <laughs> and then we come home and we eat all the things that we have made. And there are some traditional dishes that we make on Eid. So like this is uh, uh, sheer kurma, and uh, I make it with vermicelli, which is a very uh, thin noodles, uh, milk. Uh, sugar and almonds and we also use dates in this. Do you want to try it Alicia and see how did it turn out? <laughs> if you want to. And then this is a very special dish in Pakistani household and it's called samosas. We make it with flour and uh, you can use potatoes or chicken in it. And this is tandoori chicken. We make it with chicken and special spices and yogurt and we put it on charcoal gr grill. And this is a very famous dish in Pakistan. It's called chicken biryani. We use chicken, spices, and rice to make this dish. And then there are two other really special drinks that we have made. One is mango lassi. Let me try it and see how it is. You try and tell me, Alicia, how did it turn out? Good. Very good. 
So we make it with mango pulp, yogurt, sugar, and then I just blend it in the blender. And I have also made Kashmiri chai, and it is a pink tea that we make for special occasions like Eid. So I'm going to show you how it turns out. The reason it's called pink tea is because uh, the color of this tea is pink. It is made with green tea and water, and it's just like a whole process that makes it pink. So you can see how pink it is. And then we serve it with almonds and pistachio on top. So I have it crushed here and I'm just going to put it on top. You want, this is for you, Alicia. You wanna try it and tell me how did it turn out? It's very good. Okay. Alicia, which one you want to pink? You want gold or white? Gold I think goes gold better. goes better with white. Yeah. So these are the bangles that are very popular in Pakistan and usually we wear it during Eid or if someone is getting married. So these are very traditional and they look beautiful when you wear it. And if they are too small, you can put lotion on them and then slide it. It's too small for me. Yeah, too. sometimes it's difficult if to they put are, them on. Yeah, you can just put lotion so they slide right in. Thank you for joining Lifestyle with Angie and I hope you enjoyed our special Eid show. Bye everyone. Bye.